You may not know it, but Israel is the seventh largest arms seller in the world. That makes it the fifth largest exporter of weapons on the face of the planet. Israel is the world's fourth largest exporter of arms. Israeli weapon sales to foreign countries have skyrocketed. Israel exported nearly $10 billion of weapon systems all around the world. Just how did the Jewish state become one of the world's biggest arms dealers? A government uh, soldier with a Galil Ace uh, rifle. After this weapon were given to this militia, this militia Alicia went with this uh, Galil rifle and massacred the, the Noir tribe in Juba and other places in uh, South Sudan. They called it a textbook example of ethnic cleansing. Now, a UN fact-finding mission confirmed it. Myanmar's army carried out mass killings with genocidal intent of the local Rohingya Muslims. While there's a US and an EU embargo on selling arms to Myanmar, Israel continues to do so. An Israeli investigative journalist stated, when no one else will sell to you, then you turn to Israel. Like Rodrigo Duarte, president of the Philippines, who has been widely accused of committing war crimes and grave violations of human rights against his own people. At least if Germany had Hitler, the Philippines would have, but you know, my victims. Unlike in the U.S., Germany, and even China, Israel does not impose any restrictions on the sales of arms to the Philippines. In Sri Lanka, Israel supplied drones, planes, and warships. In 2006, the Sri Lankan Air Force used Israeli planes to bomb an orphanage where 400 girls lived. 60 were killed on impact. In Yugoslavia, the horrendously cruel acts were the worst Europe had seen since the Holocaust. But that didn't deter the Jewish state from arming the perpetrators. The transactions took place long after the UN Security Council placed an arms embargo on the former Yugoslavia, and after the publication of a series of testimonies exposing genocide and even the creation of concentration camps there. To retain its facade as the only democracy in the Middle East, Israel tries to keep the details of its arms deals a secret, contrary to how a real democracy works. A group of Israeli human rights activists have filed freedom of information requests with their country's defense ministry. In every instance, the ministry denied their request and they were forced to appeal to the Supreme Court. In every appeal, the court has sided with the ministry and ruled that such information was legitimately sealed from public view in order to protect the security of the nation. It's difficult to understand how the knowledge that Israel armed Rwandan murderers and Serbian death squads in the 1990s would harm national security today. From militias in Ukraine armed with Israeli guns to Myanmar officials meeting with the head of Sibat, there is no public accounting of where Israel's weapons are sold or to whom and how they are used. The Israeli arms business is booming. Last year, Israel earned nearly $1,000 from the arms trade per head of its population, several times the per capita income the U.S. derives from military sales. Our own country might have something to do with Israel's standing as a leader in military exports, since the U.S. gifts $3.8 billion to Israel in military aid every year.